All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely excited to jump out and interview an absolute powerhouse in the insurance industry, Miss Leslie Schofield. What's up, Leslie? Hey, hey, hey. Happy to be here. Thank you so much for being a part of this. All right. She, she is owner of Six Figure Academy. Uh, she's a founding partner with IFG. She's an insurance agent machine. She's a six heavy six figure earner, soon to be seven figure earner. Right? And she is right. doing her best to she sells a lot. She helps. Uh, she, she, she builds teams. Right. She shares her knowledge through her training platform. She is truly inspirational, motivational. I can promise you you're going to learn a lot. Listen to this lady today, right now. Okay, for those that don't know Leslie, uh, I'd love for you to share a little bit about you and your story and, and what got you to today. Sure, sure. Super happy to be a part of all of this. Thanks for thinking of me. Um, I've always wanted to see more women in this industry once I got in and I realized that it was super saturated with guys. No offense, but um, we just get in the door so much easier and the commissions are unbelievable. And there's just something to say about when you can really help a family and when you make an impact financially for that family man, it just really gets you in the fields. And so, um, but I'll start out by um, giving you a little bit of background. So I worked in the hospitality industry, Hilton, Marriott, always did um, sales, bartending. I think the best insurance agents are bartenders mm. um, for sure. <laughs> and then I got into Ashley Furniture where I was there for five years, uh, number one in the whole state of Virginia, capped out at $89,000, sold every mattress cover, every Tempur-Pedic, worked every holiday, every weekend, and could not break through the six-figure mark without like working open to close. And it was completely ridiculous. And we hired a guy um, that was uh, working at sitting down on a couch at one of our busiest holidays. And I was a sales lead at the time. And I was like, Hey man, why are you not? There's so many people coming in. I, there's not enough of me go help these people. He was like, I'm good. I make like 5k part-time doing life insurance. And I was like, wait, what you like, you make $5,000 part-time. If, if you, no offense, but like, if you can do it, I would crush it. Where do I go? Where do I sign up? And so that's how I got in the business. And I didn't, I'm going to be honest with you. I quit. I quit my job. I was not prepared. I didn't know a lick about anything. Leads. I took the exam, didn't retain any of it. And <laughs> that was it. I, I, uh, somebody gave me a stack of old leads for 50 cents each and I dialed through them. Um, at some point made a $2,500 sale and never looked back. I bought new leads ever since. But before that happened, I was the queen of door knocking. Mm. And I think uh, it was 10 K my first month in the business at a 70% commission um, with leads that were not the age that they said on the form. Um, and then second month was about 15,000 at a 70%. And then I quit and went to another IMO and stayed there for two, three years and was very, very successful. And from wow. there, I ended up at IFG. So that's like a short version. I love it. You're naturally a uh, extreme go-getter, like crazy driven, right? Yeah. I, I follow you I, while watching you. We've known each other for a few years. I've always been really impressed by you. Where does that come from? Because not everybody's like that. And for those that are out there that are not like that, you just freaking have it. You're moving, you're going, and I love it. Where does that come from? I think it's a survivor mechanism um, from being a kid growing up in, in a low income area, um, not having access to the best of everything. Um, mm. And just my parent, my dad worked three jobs. So my mom and my brother on, are both on disability. My brother is intellectually disabled and my mom is physically disabled. So, you know, that kind of pours a lot into the why of, of why this business has to work for me. Um, I've purchased them. Well, I did a whole video back in Mother's Day a few years back about when I bought my mom a car. It was such a big deal all over social media. Um, and yeah, so like, you know, the goals are not mine, even though, and I, I spoil myself, <laughs> but I'm sure my goals are not mine. Like, you know, they're, they're just, I want to see people succeed and I want my family to breathe. I don't mm. want them to worry about money. I love that. That's huge. And so you have to have a ride or die attitude. You know, I, I got this nickname, Terminator, 
um, <laughs> because I cannot be like, I'm just a machine. I will always come back and haunt you. <laughs> you are a machine. You, you, you keep doing it. You've been personally producing for years. You do an unbelievable job at it. You, you sell tons to jump out and do 10 K your first month, 15 K your second month is door true. Knocking. Door knocking old, old, old leads. That's yeah. truly remarkable. I don't, I don't think people realize how impressive that is to just jump out and do it. Oh my God. The grit, the guts. Yeah. By the way, I've been in the business six and a half years and I just got a concealed carry. So I don't want to hear this crap about I'm scared of this area. Like fear did not phase me. I literally Ooh. believe God protected me this whole time. <laughs> and like, that. I just, I worked until the street lights came on. It didn't matter. And in the summer I work later and I work until the street lights come on in the winter. Mm, fear did not phase me. I love that. No, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't even occur to me that I might've been in a crazy neighborhood. I mean, I look around, I'm like, okay, we got to go find this lady. She's stuck up in here somewhere. <laughs> but your, your first month, think about your first month. What did you do that most agents don't do to jump out and write 10 K of life insurance premium your very first month in the business? That's easy. I took every single lead that I bought. Now, these were the bought leads because at a 70, I was buying leads that were old and resold to my co-workers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I took each lead. I went to Best Buy and I bought one of those old school Tom Toms. Do you remember Tom Tom? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. I used to have one in my well, car. Yes. Yeah. So I bought a Tom Tom and I didn't know about, about dialing. I had no idea about dialing. So I thought I had to go to their house. I didn't, it didn't even occur to me that I could call them and there was a phone number on the lead. It was just not because I came from furniture, like face to face. Yeah, you didn't call them. They just came in. No. Yeah. So I stuck, like, I think the Garmin would hold like 10 at a time. So I just stuck 10 in and went by 10. And then I stuck another 10 in and went by 10. And I just did that. I did it every day, five days a week. Do you recommend it still? Yeah, heck yeah. I don't knock all the time. I love it. I love it. That's actually funny you bring that up because I don't know if you knew this, but a lot of my first year was cold door knocking, um, not even old leads, just straight door knocking. And you really learn a lot about yourself and it, it really helps your sales ability to get out and put that type of activity in. Oh, and I believe yeah. that's, that's why you're so good now. Man, I had the neighborhood enrollment script down pat. If the neighbors had a wheelchair ramp, I was knocking oxygen signs. <laughs> veterans plates. I mean, I literally would scope and I, I don't know why I just, I guess, I don't know where that came from, but I, I screen everywhere I am. I'm always looking around. And even when I'm walking in facilities, I'm like, Oh, they have an oxygen tank in there. And hmm. you know, I don't know why I think I'm just constantly looking to serve and they might need something that I have that they don't know that I have. That's right. That they don't know exists. Yes. Yes. Are, are you willing to share your, uh, your, 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 your door knock uh, script? still oh, today yeah for sure uh so i work every type of lead i i am involved in advanced markets mortgage protection final expense medicare supplements all of it so wow. which store ag script do you want Ooh, ooh. let's do the uh let's do the final expense one okay hello <laughs> you gotta come to the door <laughs> all right i'm opening h hello who are you cody yes Hey, Cody, it's Leslie. I've been trying to get in touch with you. You sent in this information and I know how important it was for you. Um, I don't know when you got it, but due to COVID, they just now got me out here. Um, mm. Any? Do you have a few minutes? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Perfect. Do you like me to take off my shoes or can I keep them on? Uh, you can keep them on. Perfect. And then from there, I just go straight to, I always sit right at the table. Mm. And then at the table, I don't, I don't go, um, so why'd you fill this out? Yeah, I love that. No, it's, it's just, so I'm assuming you sent this in because you're worried about your burial. If something was to happen to you, who would be picking up the pieces if, um, when you die? You know what I love? Here's what, here's the five things I noticed, by the way. Absolutely incredible. Okay. Make sure you guys give Klaus Leslie some love in comments. Okay. To share that live on video. Like you can tell the chick has got it. Okay. Five things I noticed. Number one, you said their name. No, no, no. Number two, you, you were, you were First name. Yeah, first name only. Oh, that's yeah. you because they'll correct them. It's Mrs. Adams. Okay, Mrs. Adams. Yeah. Well, yeah. Leslie. Exactly. Number two, you were loud. You didn't like get quieter and lose confidence. You you, you had right. you had some confidence, which is great, right? You're talking to old people through a through a screen, right? Mm -hmm. 
you, you mentioned the word of how, how important it was to them. You made it about them instead of about you, right? Which is huge. Um, four, you, you, you were extremely assumptive every step of the way. And you always finish with a question. Yeah. And not an open-ended question either. It's mm-hmm. usually like, yeah. <laughs> so, so impressive. So Any impressive. reason why I can't, we can't talk about this right now? Yes or no. Mm. Instead of when do you want me to? Now I do. I'm very good at booking appointments at the door. If I can't get in, an appointment is being made. And I always say to the team, like, it's not a no unless it's a no to your face. So I'm here now. If you're going to say no, do it now. Yeah. That's and that's right. when I let the lead go, sort of. You know what's the most impressive part about you? And I noticed this with a lot of top producers like yourself um, is their mindset. They're, they're headstrong. Like no, no one is screwing up their day. Like they are in complete control of what happens throughout the day. And, and they accept responsibility for what happens. Like if you don't get an appointment, you don't blame the prospect. You blame yourself. Oh my gosh. We just talked right? about that this morning. Yes. And that, you can pinpoint exactly what you did and why you didn't get the appointment. I'm like, well, I know exactly how I screwed that up. I can try to save it, but I'm, now I'm just going to go over there and try to meet her in person. Yep. So impressive. So impressive. Um, as you are building out a team and helping others, what's some of the things that you're noticing from some of the people that are doing well versus some of the people that are really struggling? Oh, gosh, that's so easy to answer. Um, it's just it's it's they've allowed I'm guilty of it. Like, especially you got to remember a lot of women talk to me. So with women in general, they just don't show up. Like mm. something comes up and they just don't show up. And I'm like, this style session has been going on forever since we've had the same, we have had the same weekly schedule since we started. And you get a notification and an email and a text reminding you to get on. And you just didn't log in. Like you, you're going to have to, I can't make you log into your computer. So I think so the part of the problem is just showing up and it, just log on because once you log on, when I see you, if you're in another state, if I see you logged in, I am directly talking to you for some reason. I'm going to pull you out of whatever you're in. And my agents will tell you, like, they call me on purpose to get pulled out of whatever crud they're in. Mm. And like today, we went over time blocking. Something so simple as time blocking Got age. I got an agent with five appointments, eight appointments, eleven appointments, all because we sat and just got out of our funk first and got it all out of the way. Showing you're up, six, number one. Show, yeah, I love that. I I I I, talk, I said it all the time is is literally step number one to success. It's just showing up. Yeah. It's just it. It's so easy to not show up. You know, it drives me insane. I I freaking love that you said that. That's so on point. Um, what. Did, did did you earn uh, six figures your first year? Yeah, I did. How rare is that? Oh, yeah, I did. I nailed it. <laughs> How awesome is that? What, I what, what, crushed what was, it. I crushed what was, it. <laughs> what was the exact number? Help me out. It was, I need to look. It was somewhere between 362,000 and 382,000. Two carrier trips. Wow. Back to back. No, three. You were there in one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It was a couple carrier trips back to, I mean, shoot, I was on vacation for like the whole summer of the next year. Jeez, this this yeah. was your, this was, so it was 360, 380, whatever is thousand in premium your first year. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I learned so much about leads. I learned about that's the year that I learned that, that if you if you come to the table ready, if you come prepared, if you decide to be full time and you show up every day, you will learn that you have to get an S corp or an LLC. <laughs> like you will learn how to manage your money fast. Yes, that's right. I bought leads from day one. I never had a lead given to me. You, you also you probably had a uh, decent t- tax bill after your first year. Oh yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> um, I, were we we can avoid that if you want. <laughs> I don't care. I, I, I was I was I told paid it off. Like I did, it wasn't terrible. I could have paid it off in full, but I took my time paying it off because who wants to pay the IRS? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they I'm take payment there. plans, so I just set up an auto pay and let it let it do its thing. But it never happened again. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, that's right. Yeah, you, you live and you learn and you fix and you correct and, and you yeah, don't really I'm telling you, you guys listening, do not live and learn. Go get a CPA right now. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. That's, I, I had the same thing happen to where I was told by a CPA, you owe the IRS $20,000 at least. And I'm like, oh, mine was higher. I'm like, I'm 20 years old. What are we talking about here? This is yeah. ridiculous. I'm like, I don't, I, I blew it. I, I, I spent it all. What do you and mean? Just, Where did it go? Why did yeah. you get a job? <laughs> <laughs> so I went and did my own on like uh, H&R Block or whatever, and I got it down to uh, eight grand, paid it, and then I hired a CPA. Mm -mm. I used H&R Block, got the tax problem, and went and hired a professional. That's awesome. <laughs> Not doing you, you, did, you did it the smarter way. Please, you guys, get a regular CPA. Just yep. get one. <laughs> what, and, and what you're talking about is running a business, right? Like they are, every, everyone's a business owner. I don't think people grasp that. Like, they're like, okay, so I'm independent. I can just show up and work nine to five like a regular person. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I can't tell you. Maybe th through, okay, so I'll be, I'm going to put some transparency out there for you. Last year was my absolute worst, and I just mean worst paid, worst income in the business since I've been in the business. And that was because I had a toddler and COVID happened and I had a very hard time time blocking. This, this did not happen for me and it's mm. shame on me. And I sat in it and I, and this is just at 6 to 10 PM Monday through Friday. I'll show it to you. It's what wow. I want. Yeah. It's the purple are the appointments. This is the week when I have my kid. Did you see all those appointments? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. That's awesome. So, but time blocking and time management didn't happen during COVID. I allowed that to tear apart my business. I got emotional. We're women. Okay. We're going to get emotional, but also like I am, I am doing what mom and dad both do. It's, you know, I mean, I do have a husband, but That's right. in the business, I am both a broker and a mom with men. You guys just don't make the money and we spend it. The agent, the like talk to Lauren, like she's, she's, she does a lot. Right. Yes. But, but a lot of guys go out and produce and their women are at home having babies and like try doing all of that and being the producer too. When you're not in a supportive role. That's a lot. I you respect have to have a, a time block or you're just dead in the water. And that happened to me and I'm embarrassed about it. And I promise you it'll never happen again. I respect the heck out of that, by the way. Uh, is, can they, can they email you for the time blocker? Oh Yeah. What do you, what do you, I'll just I'll send it over. I'll post it on the. Can I post it in your Facebook group or something as a file? Sure. Yeah. So and, we have and, a group. We have a group. It's called the Insurance Ladies. I co-host it. It's actually Joanna's group. I co-host it with her and Amanda and Malia and some awesome other chicks in the business. And it, it's it's no it's no recruiting. It's totally women friendly. Any agency, any any anything, and it's in the file section there. Um, but I will give it to you. Cool. I love that. Okay. Uh, you guys have to grab that. It's super impressive. And it looks like it was, you know, wasn't the most complicated thing in the world to build. It's just that you have it, you know, it's, it's just a block. Yeah. Just blocks 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Sunday through Saturday. Pretty simple. You know? I'll give you my schedule because you're going to want that. How can Good. I, how can we, how can we, you guys too, like, just because I'm a chick, like you guys are not working like this. That's true. Yeah, you got and a I point. mean, I'll just give it to you because I go to the gym. I got a personal trainer. Like, see, I'm in there. I see That's you guys. Right. I see Brad and all of them out. Yeah, I'm doing that too. <laughs> well, <laughs> talk to me about the personal trainer piece. Like, how how important is that to have uh, something so, scheduled? Oh my gosh! Today was my first day back. I used to go nonstop to OTF Orange Theory Fitness all day. Loved it, um, but they closed during COVID. And um, the best, the best, so here's the thing, the best year I had in the business, I was seeing a personal trainer. Yeah. So I hired him back. Today was my first session. I'll be not able to walk tomorrow, but I mean, time blocking. I see him. I have a week with the kids, a week without the kids. So I have a schedule for both weeks. Yeah. So it's like, and each one still gives me 25 to 30 appointments with working out, with meditation, with church, with um, community serve groups at church, all included. Mm. Like it's all here. 
That's so impressive. I, I you, you'll love this too. I I had my best year ever last year actually, and hired a personal trainer the whole year, and started in January. And the personal trainer, because the gym closed, I had him come to my house every day. No doubt. How cool is that? Oh yes, and it mine helped. will do the same. It helped. It's amazing. It's crazy. That's what I needed. I I wish that I never. I wish I could just have a room like a mother-in-law suite for a trainer. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that. I Come love knock that. on my door. Time to get up. <laughs> that's next. That's next. You're gonna have you're gonna have personal trainer. You have a chef. You're gonna have a pilot. Yeah. You know. I mean, why not? Those are some pretty hefty goals, though. I mean, those are. You know, I I don't know. I just those are great goals to have. I think, but I just don't know if I would totally use a chef. You're 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 impressive enough to to make any of that happen. By the way. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I know. I can do it. I just What's don't know that me, is that really necessary? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Thanks. Most people, most people would say that it's not necessary um, to, 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 to door knock old leads <laughs> and, and you're freaking crushing it and everybody else is failing then because they're like, well, I don't want to do the hard stuff, you know? The leads didn't work. How many times have you heard, <laughs> you especially, this, this batch was no good? Did you see me call a bad batch on YouTube one time? Uh, I called it live after an agent said, this is the oh, bad batch that. leads. I sent him his money back, and then I called them live on camera and booked four appointments, five appointments. Yeah, right? that's my favorite. After they were horrible and he didn't get any. I'm like, come on. Yeah, I love that you, 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 you believe so much in you that I truly believe. I don't know where this comes from. I'd love to know where it come, came, comes from for you, but I believe you believe that you can do anything. Um, well... My mom might have told me that I could do it, whatever I wanted when I was little, little, but the way we lived and the way I was raised, I had no choice but to make something happen, if that makes sense. Yes. So it, it, the belief is so subconscious that it's no longer a hypothetical. It has to happen. It's always been there. Like it's right. always just had to be this way. You know, it's kind of like you're just, I don't know. It's just, That's it's so good. You, I was definitely, I was born this way. That's right. I was just thought of the song when you said that a second ago, too. I, totally I think did. I was born this way. I think, and my mom says, like, like when I was two, I was using the potty early. I was like doing everything early. She's like, she came out the wind boss and everybody around. Like, that's what she says. So <laughs> I believe that. But, yes. you know, mostly um, I think for me, what's super important is, is that is very aggressive and being a woman, you do come off very masculine and you have to find a way, you have to do a ton of personal development, which I didn't know anything about until the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you have to have a schedule, which I am the queen of schedule. And I really want to give it to you guys before I get off. So don't let me go without giving you my schedule. I see that, by the way. I love that. But the personal development is a must um, because otherwise it's ego. Mm. Talk, talk about that because I freaking love that you're talking about that. Well, ego, if, you just, if you're just an egotistical person, you're, you're, not, you're capping yourself at what kind of success you can make. I mean, mm. you really genuinely have to come from a place of service. If you can't get into service mode and be a genuine service person, then you're a surface person. And surface people and service people have different results. And mm -hmm. I've been a surface person before. And once I really learned, you know what? I'm not making any money, but I'm filling out this Medicaid application. I have no business helping this person with this. I make zero out of it. When you do something like that, mm. the referrals come and like the other things come and then, and you just feel good. And I feel like that's part of fueling. It fuels me. If I don't feel good, I'm not going to work. So even if I go do something for somebody, it makes me feel better, which makes me go and, and get 10 appointments tomorrow. 10 appointments <laughs> tomorrow. I don't You're know. Beast. I do know how I'm going to do it because I'm going to go every hour on the hour. You're a Terminator. That's right. In, in, in three months, I'll flex a bicep for you, but I'm not doing it today. Okay. All right. I'm still working on mine too, so I'm with you. Dude, it's <laughs> uh, Man, 
you're such an inspiration to so many male, female, young, old, doesn't matter. You, you, you're an absolute go-getter that anyone can learn from. And I've had the pleasure of getting to know you the last couple of years and see you grow and see you help people and see you just freaking turn into this monster that, that dominates anything you set your mind to. Yeah. It was always in there. I just needed somebody to like pull it out. That's right. And once you start picking up those premium checks, honey, once the momentum train starts chugging, yeah. it is so difficult to get off of it. And then God forbid you fall off of it because if you do, it's hard to get back on. That's right. So you really, the ride the train thing, that's real. <laughs> yes. Ride it when it's good. And when it's good, you need to stay on it and do whatever you can to stay on it. That's why schedule is so important. You talk about schedule because you mentioned that multiple times. You, that's a big part of your uh, week and what you do. You're really organized. I'm actually not that organized. So I'm really impressed that you are. Oh my gosh. I will give you a schedule that will change your entire, everybody, everybody. It's a $25,000 a month schedule. And, and that's wow. really, that's like watering it down. That's watering that's it down. That's, that's like big. recycled leads, old leads, three-year-old leads watered down. Yep. Like it's like that. So it's simple. And by the way, at this current moment, I have zero staff and I have had three at one time before. Jeez. So yeah, and I do well. No, that's not true. I have a virtual assistant. Okay, but and they fill in the gaps. So like this schedule is for somebody that has a ton of people under them on their team, or the brand new agent coming in, and it specifically yep. will help. It will specifically help brand new agents. Um. So okay. So Monday. Okay. It's really I always write it out so I don't forget anything. So Monday is what we call dial day. Um, and this is where you do not get an appointment center. You don't have the luxury of booking, of having somebody book your appointments. Like you spent your money on the lead. Why would you have a stranger call it? Are, they're not invested. So you're good. like giving up $40. Like go put it in the toilet and flush the toilet. Would you do that? No. Right? Like you might, but I'm not. I probably <laughs> would, but most people would not. <laughs> In the toilet real quick. No, it doesn't work that way. So you have to dial your own appointments. I start at 9 a.m. and I go until it's full. Today I got done at 11:52, and I was dialing brand new leads. So from 9, let's be honest, we we had a little powwow. So from 9:48 to like 11:48, I booked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I booked probably 15 appointments and then did four for another agent. Jeez. Yeah. So two hours of solid, just solid. Oh, and, and did an app at the end. Got a whole application. And you and do then, that, you do that um, face, to face, face to face appointment? No, I was dialing. No, I mean, face to face. You're, you're booking face to face? Yeah, I'm booking face to face appointments. And then I sold an app over the phone. Jeez. At the end. So that was today, which gave me the rest of the day. Now I have the whole day off. So if I'm done, I had a conference call to get on and I had agents to call. So, but what it does is it frees up. So if I'm done by 12, I take a lunch break if I want. From from one to five, you can do all of your office stuff. Yep. And you can hit the gym. I get up at 5 a.m. So gym mm. in the morning, shower dial. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are field days or phone days, whatever you want. Um, you're either on the phone booking appointments to go in the field or you're on the phone selling. So I do eight to 10 on Tuesday, eight to 10 on Wednesday, every hour on the hour. Thursday is the same exact schedule as Monday. And then Friday, you get eight to 10. And Saturday is every other for me. Oh. And it's just that simple. And it's That's 25 amazing. appointments minimally a week. And I break that down. So basically 25 appointments. This is for your new agent. You guys should definitely write this down. 25 appointments are sets, S-E-T-S. You set 25, which means you need what? 40 leads or more. Yep. So if you have 25 sets, you'll get into 15 to 20. So 15, let's call, let's say we stake. Right. And like, we're not that great. So we set 25, but only 15 let us in. So that's 15 sits, S-I-T-S. Yep. And then out of those sits, we were really bad. And we only sold like five to eight sales. We'll do the math. It's good money. It's a $5,000 a week. It's $20,000 a month. 
quarter mil. 25 appointments a week, baby. That's Six it. Figure Academy. That's it. I love that. That's huge. They, they stick to that system. There's no way they don't make six figures. Yeah. The problem is sticking to the system. You got to show up to what? Dials. You that's have right. to show up to dials. If you don't, that's why I started live dialing publicly. Today was actually the first day we had Tom on. You know what? Yeah. Tom messaged me. He what? said, I'm sitting here watching. He said, I'm sitting here watching Leslie do her live dials. I'm like, how awesome is that? Did he put a little brain emoji with a splatter? Cause that's how he was. He was brain splatter emoji today. <laughs> Listening to live dials with Leslie, beast mode. He was blown away and we used um, Go High Level and he just got to see that and the benefit of having that. And That's it awesome. was so valuable for Tom. I know it was. That's so huge. I freaking love that. Man. His wife. This is, <laughs> we should have charged. We should have, yeah, his, Denise is amazing too. We should have charged for this. Yeah, we should. We should have charged okay. for this. It was so good. We do. <laughs> well, you do with Six Figure Academy, yeah. right? Yeah, you know? but now it's sort of like, um, you know, again, I just I just want you guys to sell. Because here's the thing. If I give out content and you love it and you love me, you're going to come and be with me. That's right. Yeah. So on that note, if they want to reach out to Leslie and learn more or keep following your journey, how do they do that? Hello. Hello at LeslieDScofield.com. Hello. At, Hello Les at Leslie D. Schofield .com. and then Instagram. I'm on Insta. Yes, I am Leslie underscore Schofield. Yes. And I am on Clubhouse. What, what? Six figure Leslie. Yes. The club. We There's love her the Instagram. Club. There's her Instagram for those that are wondering. Okay. I am Leslie underscore yes. Schofield. In case Great. you want her to spell her name, I was putting that up on Instagram earlier. So I am. Leslie underscore Schofield on IG. Please, uh, you guys, if you want, I get a lot of, invites. I get a lot of agents. I get a lot of agents DMing me on Instagram every single day because of stuff like this. So you, you'll definitely get some messages. It's at Six Figure Leslie on Clubhouse, and I have invites. Ah, Bye. you want in? You want in? Also, email hello at lesliedschofield.com. You've been unbelievable. You're an inspiration. I'm fortunate that you spent some time with us. I can guarantee you some agents are definitely reaching out for help because you are a Terminator. Anything else you want to add before we close? Yes. Thursday, 9.15 a.m. Eastern. We will be doing live dials. If you go on my Facebook page, I always post my Zoom link. It is public, open to the public. You can come hear me. Um, dial with our with our with our team. Um, we overcome every objection in advance so that you book everybody that answers the phone. Mike. Boom. That's a mic drop. She's willing to share her live dials. You're amazing. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you for sharing with our audience today. Appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Hey, make sure you guys go and continue to follow Leslie. Apply everything she's saying and make sure that you become Leslie Schofield one day. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Clubhouse has been fun lately, right? Yes. There's been not, not just fun, but like, I mean, there's been some some extreme value, right? Yes. Yeah, it's, been, it's just been so good. People have been dropping bombs. People have been asking questions. People